out to dinner. It's like date night. <laughs> I'm just out visiting my little friend here. What'd you buy, mister? Just a couple items. He doesn't even care about the dogs. He's like, beef, beef. this morning and we're definitely not in the Tetons anymore. That's right, we're on the farm. There's Tex in Montana. We are at Shumway Farms in, I believe it's Afton, Wyoming. It's a Harvest Toast location. Two spots here. We have a little store, ice cream, milk, eggs, um, some frozen beef and lamb and uh, it's like self-pay, very trusting. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be our home for tonight. I need to go in, I've got a work meeting and luckily we have really good AT&T service here and I'm um, gonna do that and then I don't know what we're gonna do, we might go out exploring. We unhitched just because of where we're at and there was a, um, cute little drive-in diner in town so we might just do that for dinner so kind of want to be back by six o'clock we heard you can watch them milk the cows and maybe even help so uh, i got to feed a baby calf two years ago in vermont patty's never got to do it so it might be fun for her well he's back he wandered up to the little store here at the farm what'd you buy mister just a couple items yeah i see look at that Look at that. Ooh. Maybe a little more than you spent. Yeah. How about chocolate milk? Oh, yummy. On the farm. Mm. How about three of that amazing yogurt? I got Look. maple. Yeah. And two huckleberries. Oh, yeah. Huckleberries are good. You can never go wrong with cheese. Right. I got just peachy, the small size. Okay. I wasn't sure how much freezer space we had. And then I got Holstein Supreme ice cream. This is a uh, coconut ice cream with... Um, almonds and chocolate swirl oh my goodness that sounds so good so i spent thirty dollars you spent eight. eight so we spent 38 dollars to stay here tonight now if we were at a i'm just gonna say commercial campground <laughs> i won't name names we could have easily spent 50 bucks yeah and had no food to eat so and this stuff is amazing yeah and in addition to <laughs> getting all this great product yeah. We're at this beautiful farm in Wyoming. Yeah. I got to take Truman and Bess over and introduce them to some baby calves. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, this is why we love Harvest Toast. Like this, I have no problem spending 30 bucks for food we're going to eat. We'll eat it, yeah. And it's from the farm. Like, how cool is that? I know that that chocolate milk's calling my name. And, yeah. And I, I just, I'm trying to hold back because I want these to last. But, I man, know. those are so good. Luckily, This will be interesting to try. These last until... It says August something, 22nd? August, August 24th on this one. Oh, 22nd. So these can go home if we... Obviously. Yeah. This is um, August 6th, so even it can go home. And then ice cream, well... Well, it just... <laughs> I'd say it'd last, but we know it won't. So. Yeah, because I got the... Um, it's called Blue Mint and Chip. Yeah. And it had... And you had one huckleberry. Yep. Yeah. And we've almost ate it. Yeah, we, we about polished that off this yeah. afternoon. It's so, so good. So while we were doing our laundry. So yeah, will I give up electricity, water, and sewer for this? Yes, I will. Well, and we're very lucky where it's located because it may get warm during the day, like 84. Right. But, but tonight it's supposed to be 49. Right. So it's going to cool off. We yeah. just got the windows open. In fact, like, we've done laundry here today. I don't know that you should do laundry at Harvest House. <laughs> But we figured since it's a farm, they probably well, have And we've not, done it inconspicuously. And we're not stringing it out. No, no and, we've done it where yeah. nobody can really tell. So Yeah, we got a lot done today. Plus, we got yeah. good food. Yeah, this is a great. Thank you to Megan from Her Fine Mess. Her and Pat um, had suggested stayed here it, yeah. and suggested it. So if you don't follow Her Fine Mess over on Instagram, definitely do. Because 
she does some amazing photos. And they have two Cavaliers that look like Bess, Teddy and Pippa. Yeah. And you can go to her website, herfindmess.com, and check out Megan's blogs. Um, but thanks, guys, for recommending we come here because this was definitely... Not that we've had a bad harvest toast on this day. No. And honestly, we haven't really had a bad harvest toast ever. No. I mean, we've had some where it's more, you know, just a parking lot... But usually they have good food or something. So Yeah, something. Something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, let's try some chocolate milk. All right. Or stickers. Okay, so we stayed in Idaho for a couple nights. Yep. This is a puppy for this little oh. Uh -oh. I better go check our child. I got Idaho. You would have got more footage of this if our child had been <laughs> misbehaving. And we get to have Wyoming. There's Wyoming. Look at that. Bessie Bear. Calm down. Hey, Bessie, we're trying to make a YouTube video, and you're barking. See? What you upset about? Huh? What you upset about? Oh, hi, buddy. People always love it when you make an appearance. Yeah. Okay, Mommy's adding Wyoming. You stay quiet. Here we go. Here we go now. In the words of Matt, here we go now. <laughs> this has been our summer right here. Yeah. Kind of just stayed up in here. Yeah, I think we're going to buy a, a place right up in here. Yeah, I want one right up in here. <laughs> Not that not that any of these others aren't wonderful, but, but I want to be up in here. I think I like it there. I think we're going to spend our summers here. Yep. And, and then we're going to down, down here. here. We're down here. Down here. Yeah, we've never we're been down, down in there, here. so we. Anywhere down in here. Yeah. Okay. So cool. I think that's all we get to add tonight. I think so. All right, we're going out to dinner. It's like date night. <laughs> date we're at night. The Red Baron Dine In here in. Uh, Afton, Wyoming. Patty got a cheeseburger. I got the pastrami burger. So it's a, it's a hamburger patty with pastrami and cheese. And then we're splitting one cut order in half. So you get 18, she told me. So that's nine a piece. That's a lot. That's a lot. Good enough. Mm -hmm. So let's give it a try. All right. All right. Let's go into no, the store here. I'll show you what they have. So this is all help yourself or self-serve. We got the big ice cream freezer here. We've got raw milks, chocolate milk, we got cheeses, butter, and then this amazing yogurt. And I'm looking, the huckleberry's still out. Maybe I'll we'll bring some more out before we leave in the morning. You can get uh, beef and lamb. It looks like they may also have pork, but they were out. And then over here is like individual ice creams. Uh, eight little eight ounces. It says they have 30 plus flavors. And then you just come over here and there's instructions for how to check yourself out and pay. And it works out good, especially with COVID going on. So, all right, let's head over. Patty is over here taking Truman and Bess for a walk to see the baby calves. It is a gorgeous night here. It's really cooled down. And uh, it's really nice out. We do have another camper here tonight with Harvest Toast. So, what do you guys think? What do you think? Huh? What do you think of these baby cows? Huh? Should we get one? Look at this one. Look Probably at not. I don't think. I don't think Pine Canyon Association would be happy if we took one of these guys home. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You make, oh, oh, they're afraid. Oh, oh, they're afraid. Okay. Don't get too close. Okay. We won't get too close. Oh, this guy says, I'd like some attention. Yeah, you posing? You want to be on YouTube? You want to be famous? Well, our channel is probably not the right one if you want to get famous, but you know, it is what it is. Hi, buddy. Let's see. We got any others down here? Oh, there's one in there. He might be eating. Really? What what was that all about? You make some good dairy, do you? Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be a dairy cow? Yeah, you're gonna make some of that amazing yogurt. <laughs> uh, Alright, we'll leave them alone. Yeah. <laughs> she scares me. I was gonna say sometimes she scares me. Good morning from the farm. 
It is gorgeous here. I'm just out visiting my little friend here, watching him eat. And we got to see him feed the baby calves this morning. We didn't go over and participate, but did go back over and pick up a few items. But you can never have too much dairy. Well, actually you can't, but we're good. So I feel like there's one more thing we need to do on this trip before we head east. So we're gonna get hitched up and we're gonna go do that one more thing. And uh, we'll let you know what that is a little bit. So if you've ever wondered what hail would sound like in your RV, naturally as I start recording, it's letting up. Now this is just real tiny pellet hail, but you see it's raining pretty good here in West Yellowstone, or we're about seven miles outside of West Yellowstone. Loud. It's very loud. Let's light in. I've been pretty fortunate <clears throat> on this trip with weather, but ever since about I don't know, maybe five o'clock, it has rained. There was a lightning strike that on the Doppler, it's actually where it shows we were. I saw the flash and instantly heard the boom. I think it was somewhere over there. I'll try to put that Doppler, but now. It's a little after eight and uh, I got the grill going. I got some New York strips. I've got an extra rib. I had taken it out. I was thinking it was just gonna be patty and me. So it needed to be cooked. I'm gonna save that for another meal. Go ahead and get it cooked. Um, I got asparagus. We got summer squash, zucchini, mushrooms. And then we're doing some rice. Um, Russ and Terry should be heading this way in just a little bit. The candy store closed at eight o'clock and um, so then as soon as they get tidied up, they'll be out. Uh, there's Boone. They'll have to let their dogs, Abby and Billy, out. And then, because uh, they've been in there all day. Uh, and then we're going to have dinner. So the big surprise was I didn't want to leave. We were so close. We were three hours away from our friends. We, I don't know when we're going to see them again. So we made the drive up here. Plus, I just soon go home the northern route anyway. So we've been up here. We missed them. They had to leave for work at like 1.30. We got here at like 1.45. But um, Al and Debbie, their bosses, were so nice. Let us stay again here um, for tonight. And then tomorrow, we'll probably have breakfast with them if the weather's decent. And then we're going to head north. We'll head up to Bozeman. Um, and then probably head towards Billings. And we'll just see how far. We're not going to drive hard. But we'll probably drive four or five hours tomorrow. So... All right, I need to keep an eye on this grill. This is going to be a great dinner. This Montana beef, I have to tell you, Montana beef has been amazing. So I hope these are good because I really want to treat them tonight. One of the things I hated was the last time we were here, I totally forgot to film Russ and Carrie on camera. Like, mainly because when we're together, we're normally focused on each other and so we were just enjoying our company so i'm going to get them on camera tonight i'm going to tell patty to remind me and let's look at the steaks Ooh, yeah those are looking good so hopefully they didn't have too long of a line at the candy store so they get out of there on time but i didn't want to wait till they get here because it's going to be a late dinner anyway. Yeah. Okay, so we had a problem. A little minor problem. And tell everybody what that was. Well, our the, butter sticks were so hard. Yeah, because the refrigerator... It keeps everything Oh, really man, super, super cold, cold, yeah. So to put it on your bread, nice bread, it kind of does, you know, this. Let's see, yeah, yeah, it doesn't want to spread. Yeah. So I had this idea yeah. to good. use it, to throw it in the oven for, yeah. you know, just a few seconds. And I even told you... Patty, don't let me forget about this. And so we sit down to rest for a few minutes and watch the puppies play. And I stood up and I go, butter. And, and there's the butter. Now we have liquid butter. But there's still part of it left. But mm -hmm. yeah, so, you know, hey. problem solved. You said the butter was hard. I solved the problem. You, you did. And the oven works. We First time we've ever tried the oven, we're using it yeah. to keep 
the food warm until yeah. Russ and Carrie get here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah sure. And we ran the Instapot off of the inverter. Yeah. And, uh. I think we're going to need a spoon. So, so you may need, <laughs> may need a spoon for the butter. <laughs> hey, look. Look, it's the Balbaronas. No, it's not the ranch hands. You might think so. That's our pickup they get to drive. Looky there. I'm going to get them on camera. Uh oh, Russ is coming straight for the beef. He's like, he doesn't even care about the dogs. He's like, beef, beef. I, I, I saw the picture. You saw the picture? <laughs> yes. I hope they're okay. So what I ended up doing was, um, I ended up putting them in the oven. I've got them wrapped in foil, keeping them warm. The oven actually works. We never tried it. Nice. So. Nice. I like your awning. You it's like the awning? better than ours. Yeah, well, you're going to be getting a new one. I know. Maybe not on that, but... Maybe on something else. Oh, we probably yeah. shouldn't. Okay, yeah. So, everybody, you should know Russ. It's my buddy Russ from The Roads We Roam. Carrie's going to let Abby and Billy out. And So, what I said in the video was, I realized the last time we were here, we never actually got you guys on camera. Yeah, you know, everybody was so busy. We had that big meetup, and you were busy. We were busy working, and Carrie and I realized, we were like, you know... We got to see y'all. We had one night where we kind of hung out right. know, to, and, and ate together, but we felt like we missed out on a lot. So uh, we were really excited when we heard we were coming back. Yeah, I was like, you know, because I was looking through some footage and I'm like, and I remember that last night when we did dinner, I'm like, I told Patty, remind me, I want to get these guys on camera. <laughs> and then we just got, you know, we we're just having a good time exactly. hanging out and yeah. you forget. And then when Carrie posted on, I think, Instagram, something about, are you delivering yogurt? <laughs> um, I think it was last night, and I just happened to look, and I told Patty, if we go to Laramie, it's over. Like, once you get to Laramie, the next stop You're is Nebraska. Nebraska. Yeah, yeah, and then, you know, no disrespect to all you Nebraskans, but, and uh, and then I said, we're 300 miles away, like, to not come back and see you guys, because I don't know when we're going to see you again. It's probably a couple months at least, so, yeah, yeah. so, yeah, so we're, we're glad to be here. Hopefully it's not... Uh... Not all the way until Alaska. Hopefully oh, no, no, no. I, yeah, yeah. I, I hope not. Yeah, right? So, all right. Well, after the dogs are done, we'll have dinner. So we haven't made it very far. <laughs> no. We just left Russ and Carrie. I had a nice uh, time with them again. Had breakfast this morning. Hung out for a while. We're headed to Bozeman. Mm -hmm. But they're doing road construction. It's one of these deals where there's like an automated stoplight. And... Yep. Literally, people have been out of their cars because it's taking so long. It must be a really long, long stretch. stretch. Here's traffic still coming through. But that's how long we've been sitting here. People were out of their cars yeah. and talking. and yeah. wandering around, stretching. Right. And I can see it's still red. Yeah. So <laughs> we might make it to Bozeman by dinner at this rate. So yeah. No, we're actually only about 70, 80 miles from Bozeman. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Red. We were laughing though. <laughs> Whoever painted the yellow stripes, the temporary stripes on I this think road, they had a little. Yeah, they may have been hitting the moonshine. <laughs> they are the crookedest, and we're not talking just little. We're talking big, big. sweeping. Yeah. That, or they were just having way too much fun. Yeah, having fun with it, or they were on their or something. Something. <laughs> because it's all witchy watchy. They're not straight at all. No. No. like there's another one and that was quite an interesting process right i don't know what that was i've never seen that many machines in a row like typically in the midwest you bring in a mill crew you mill up the old and then after that's done then you bring in the asphalt crew and typically it's a paver right. trucks putting in asphalt laying it and then rollers that i i have no idea what that whole process those, was those machines that had all that fire, fire yeah there are like five or six of them i don't I don't know. Maybe somebody watching this video will know how they lay asphalt out here they were in, in Montana. Obviously heating something up. Yeah. And then at the end there was the asphalt crew, right? They were. Yeah, they were. Dropping it and, and then the rollers. rollers yeah. yeah. So, so I don't, I don't know. know. So we're we're creeping up here to another, <laughs> another one of these red lights. Um, 
looks like another <laughs> construction crew. So we're 67 miles from Bozeman. <laughs> but we didn't get very far. No. Oh well. We're in no hurry. I mean, you know, today. So I pulled off actually to use the restroom. It's gorgeous, but sometimes it's good just to pull off when there's a turnout because look at this. 